Hello everyone, this is Tammy with Art by Tammy Lasseter. So today, excuse my voice, I'm still working on a cold, um, but we're going to be working with some angel wing trinket trays that I purchased from Dryer Days Art Studio. Um, currently, I am adding in some ivy biodegradable flakes um, these flakes are not real sparkly they are more of a frosted um, look to them um, but understated and quite beautiful um, and so I'm just putting them down into the um, sidewall of these molds so that they can reach the the bottom and then therefore the very it will be the very top edge of the um, trinket bowl when it's unmolded so I'm just going all the way around and making sure that the flakes um, are um, completely around the mold and I've already done the other one prior to um, this taping of the video Today I'm using clear flow um, resin. I get the resin off of Etsy. Now I initially started off by um, using my popsicle stick to incorporate in um, some of the resin down inside the sidewalls of the mold, but uh, eventually you'll see that I'm just going to go on ahead and pour it in, and it worked out. It worked out real well. And this is just clear epoxy. While we have a minute, let me please invite you to um, give a thumbs up if there's information within my videos that you um, have learned from or that you've enjoyed, um, as well as hitting that subscribe notif that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get um, future notifications when my new videos are loaded. Also, feel free to share, and I welcome any comments that you may have. And so, I have gone ahead and poured the resin in both molds up to um, that 
what will be the bottom of the tray. And I just did cover that area. So what you just saw me um, sh show was um, sheer opal or opal sheer uh, fantasy film from Dryer Days Art Studio. And it's a very thin film um, that is holographic in nature and um, my goal here is to add kind of an opalescent type portion of this trinket tray on the bottom here so I just called it cut a small strip of that and I'm laying it down on top of the epoxy resin and making sure that um, anything that's wider than that that bottom edge there goes down in between the side walls and I'm just making sure that um, everything is touching the resin I find that um, having a thin layer of resin down when you use this film um, works very very well in keeping this and other types of um, holographic paper um, from floating to the top or floating around this it really helps to keep it in place so I'm just laying it flat I haven't crinkled it um, or didn't done anything more with this paper other than just cut it to fit Now I'm going to be using some Bling It Milky Way. Um, this is a beautiful mica powder that has lots of sparkle and shine. Um, it is a, a white pearlescent, but it's more of a translucent pearl. Um, with lots of sparkle included inside the mix. It's, a, it's just a beautiful mica. So since my um, ivy flakes did not have a lot of bling, um, to them they are again um, more of a satin finish um, I wanted to introduce just a little bit more um, bling into my recipe for these molds here and I'm just pouring it right on the top and closing in those molds it's a very easy process now I mixed about four ounces of resin and I'd say each mold took about an ounce and a half so they don't take a lot of resin at all um, and I, I do have probably an ounce, maybe a little bit more left um, that I have not uh, done anything with yet. And so I'm going to use that um, in just a few minutes. Okay, so now I have um, my molds are, are filled and I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun and handle any bubbles that are currently on the surface. And the good thing about this epoxy resin I find is that there really aren't any bubbles that I have to really worry about um, in my projects. This, um, as long as you don't really whip hard when you're incorporating your your two parts of resin then you're going to get a nice mix 
and I really love the finish with this resin. It's usually rock hard um, within 24 hours, and um, I, I still opt to wait um, a, a couple of weeks to call it completely cured. But um, it is a rock hard finish within 24 hours. So here I'm just taking my stir stick and I'm just going along that um, edge along the bottom to make sure that um, there's no bubbles that are trying to escape up through the film and sidewall. And I'm just going to give it a spritz of alcohol. And I'm really just um, taking my stick and if any bubbles are rising to the surface, um, making sure that I handle those. And now I'm just going to clean up and move these out of my way and um, get ready to use what's left of my resin. As you can see, I made a little bit of a mess down there on the bottom right hand side with my um, uh, flakes that I used. And you can see that very pretty ivy color. And if you're working on more than one project like I am today in one space, um, it's important to make sure you clean up well behind each project. left of um, my blanket container into my mix of resin and add it to this porcelain tray that um, I purchased from a discount store.
and you'll see me scoop up some of the, th the green flakes um, and incorporate those into the last of my resin. And this will serve as a, a base for an upcoming project. Um, so this is just a start starting point for that project. But a good way to use up any last drops of resin. And again, we're just going to spend some time um, managing those bubbles and um, trying to create some movement in the resin. And just a little cleanup. I hope that you've enjoyed watching my video on how to make these um, trinket trays, angel wing trinket trays. Again, if you would, I would appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe. So here we are, we're about 24 hours, well, probably just a little shy of that, maybe around the 18 hour mark. And my um, angel wings are ready to demold. And they demold very easily. I just pull back and away those um, sidewalls and pull down and away and it comes out very nicely. And you can see how pretty that um, film, the fantasy film, has opalized that uh, bottom of the tray and those that pretty green edge along the border, um, as I said, it's it's more of a satiny look. Um, it's, uh, it's more understated than most gl glitters would be and I really like that for a change. that that beautiful those beautiful green edges along with that fantasy film and they just really work well together and there you have it my two angel wing trinket trays we'll see you next time Bye.